So, um, Choo Choo Cocktail Improved. Um, what I really want to do is kind of bring the South and what we love about barbecue and, and uh, Southern tradition, uh, getting around the family, enjoying each other. Uh, I wanted to put that all into a cocktail. Um, so, I started out with, uh, I wanted to do something local, so of course the Chattanooga uh, cask Always. strength. Uh, you know, it's a great one, 113 proof. Um, it'll, it'll, it'll put you on your butt. Uh, but it's, it's, a, it's an amazing whiskey. Um, then I was thinking, all right, well, maple syrup in the choo-choo cocktail. So, I wanted to do something with the surrounding areas, so I reduced some maple syrup down with some peach nectar, some peach bitters. Um, and I was actually going to try and find peaches, but unfortunately they're out of season. So I wanted to kind of smoke them. So right. instead of doing a smoke, um, what I'm doing here is I have Lagavulin 16 here, which is very peaty. A lot of people think it's a very smoky uh, scotch. So all I'm going to do, and you'll notice I smell everything, it's just the force of habit. Um, well, I'm going to take the glass, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to rinse and wash the glass. Get some of that smokiness in it. Is, that's the Ron Swanson Scott. That's, that's it right there. That is it. Let me grab a jigger here. All right, so uh, we're going to do two ounces of our finest chat cask. How important is it for you to have kind of a local whiskey in this cocktail? Uh, well, I mean, not just in this cocktail. You know, uh, first of all, it's very important. I, yeah. I always, I'm, I'm a go local kind of guy. I love the local scene. I lived in Austin, Texas, Asheville, North Carolina. And they were huge on the go local thing. Um, and now I understand how important it is to support local businesses. And for us to not only just support local businesses, but support each other. Um, and also, uh, it's, it, it makes the cocktail. You know, sometimes people say, well, you could use a different spirit, but it doesn't make the cocktail. Um, so then I'm going to add three quarters of an ounce of my peach maple reduction here. And just for good measure dash or two of peach bitters and then these are house made barbecue bitters okay so how do, how do you make house, house made oh barbecue bitters? man it, there's mustard seed uh, there's coffee beans there's uh, white pepper black pepper um, just imagine everything that you put on a on a Memphis dry rub okay it's Sounds all, good. Yeah. all right uh, but then I also used a moonshine base um, I used uh, American born moonshine which is 103 proof um, and also, I added a little uh, uh, Angostura bitters into it. So, and then a dash of uh, absinthe, just to kind of round it out. Uh, a little so bit of everything. A little bit of everything. Yeah. We're gonna do a few good shakes of that. All right. So we have our glass ready to go. This. What we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and just stir this bad boy up. Not too much. I want to add some water to it. It's not too much. And for those viewing at home, always try your cocktails before you uh, hand them to whoever <laughs> is uh, ordering them from you. You always want to make sure that you're not handing them something that isn't gonna taste right. Water content is the number one, one of the most important parts of a cocktail. So I'm gonna do this. In there, we will. No, I think we're good. I think it's just a little drop of the liquid there. We're gonna add our ice. Actually, you know what? I like that. I like it right there. It looks good. It looks good. All right, and um, so Southern tradition, everything's better with bacon. So what I did yesterday is I decided to go ahead and make myself. <laughs> A little candy bacon as a garnish and the reason with the orange and the reason I made it look kind of like flames it's a southern barbecue right you can only have barbecue with an open flame so I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of orange here and we're just gonna express it right on top Very cool and my friend you have the Choo Choo cocktail improved. Which, and the reason being improved, any cocktail 
back during Prohibition, before Prohibition, the old fashioned, uh, whatever old school cocktail was, when a bartender made a, their own take on it, instead of calling it something different, they call it the old fashioned improved. It's just a different take on it. So instead of coming up with a different name, it's always got, already has a great name, we're just gonna go with the Choo Choo Cocktail Improved. Right. Thanks so, a lot. Cheers. Man.